today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Tennessee Titans taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. We are in a sweet spot as far as football weather is concerned today in Nashville. Just enough chill in the air for a sweatshirt, light breeze, fall in full swing at Nissan Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Giants and the Tennessee Titans. all set and we are underway from Nashville Tennessee this fielded right at the goal line and a decent return out to the 27 yard line here come the Giants led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019 Daniel Jones under center we knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Ooh, close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline, it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of Offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it, okay? They got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. A decent run there following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. 
as usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down carry for Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the 37, they work on second and six. Now Jones. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just working the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Throwing Jones. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 27. So give him the yardage on the completion and also tack on 15 more. If you get that hand up there, you've got to let go immediately or just not close the hand at all. He didn't, gave it a tug, and that was easy for the officials to see. Now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 40 yards rushing for him here. What a start to the ball game. It's first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Looking to throw, Jones to the back of the end zone, but too high over everybody and incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Operating from the gun. Jones forced out to his left. Daniel Jones taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants are on the board first here this afternoon. Solid finish to the opening drive. And look, when you get down around the goal line, you have to account for his legs. We saw it right there. Yeah, that's the added dimension to the offense, isn't it? Remember what the offensive line coach told us earlier this week? I told my guys, he's going to run it. We have to make sure he stays protected and give him an opportunity.
Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be 25. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team. Tenth overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. And one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance. Early in his career, didn't have the success that he desired. Had some injuries that slowed his development. But he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Back to throw, Tannehill. Flush to his right. That's caught by Hollister. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 34. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Just like that. Just like that. Again, it's Henry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. To throw is Tannehill. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. 
Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Jones now throwing to start the drive. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, we're not able to find any yardage on that one. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Six yards left on second down. to throw Jones and that falls to the ground incomplete a nice job of bodying him up defensively and now it brings up third down one thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs here's Jones on third down being chased out left That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 44-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
with well, the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. Off play action, Jones. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. He's at the 40. The 20. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. is Randy Bullock. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now Jones, throwing to start the drive. Left side, he's got Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13.
15 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Jones throwing on first down, gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Thirty-eight yard line, second and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll look to throw again. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Back to throw again. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there, and now fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback, run those extra defenders on the field, dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. Gano's kick. And the lead stretches to six here, it's 13-7. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. First down. And Woods has it complete. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Tannehill. And finding the tight end, Hooper. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Just shy of midfield, Tannehill dancing to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. From the 50, it's Tannehill. Henry's got it out on the left side. Oh, he's brought down. They got to get to the line quick. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. Send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, And you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Gets by him at the 25. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. 
Open man downfield is Woods. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he'll get this to the 22. So they begin the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. And that's the big fella's MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They keep it with Henry on first down. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down, here's Henry. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. and goal and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on the play that time and it sets up second and goal Brandon if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line I think I just turn around and hand it to my tailback too many things could go wrong in this situation I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage they'll try again here from the seven on second and goal They'll try the air now with Tannehill. This is caught. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Henry is in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Able to punch it in on third down. Makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. Puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So that drive in total eight plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run.
Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So already not the best of kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. Jones now. On first and ten, the quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50 percent of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old. 50 percent would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60 percent just to be in the average range. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones, open man is Galladay, complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, Barkley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 38. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught. Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first down, it's Tannehill. His throw is going to be incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Running left, it's Henry. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Henry running right. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Second down, they go again with Henry. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Tannehill now to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll give Henry another shot. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Here's Tannehill. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Austin Hooper. 
from six yards away. And the Titans will add to their fourth quarter lead. So an important drive for them there. And they're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's capped off by the Austin Hooper touchdown. send this one away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And New York set to take the field. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. Up past the 30 second. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Coming up on a second and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Here's Jones on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Jones. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Boy, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think... And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. To throw is Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Ready. 
Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Wandale Robinson, 51 yards. And the Giants have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Two-point conversion attempt still to come. Jones. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Tannehill to Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Switch, switch, switch. Tannehill to throw. He's got Henry. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Tannehill. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken. 